Well, Jeff, uh, my sources tell me you're a pretty good basketball player. I guess the world wants to know, can you take Wimby one-on-one? His reach might have me just a little bit, but I do enjoy watching him. It's been a lot of fun. I can remember the night uh, where we were trying to decide who's getting the number one pick. and I mean, It was a fun night. When it ended up being the Spurs, I knew the next 10 to 20 years going to be a lot of fun around here. I'm excited to get it going tonight. I'll be at the radio show, but I'll probably be the only one there, but I'll be at the radio show, but I'll sure be watching him. I think he tips it off at 8.30, I think, and uh, we're done around 8, so I'll be at the chicken and the pickle cheering on the Spurs in Wimby. How'd the team look today? Well, we practiced very hard. Like yesterday was the hardest we practiced since the first day of fall camp as a group. That's all you know, data-driven, so it's not like I can embellish that anyway. So it'd be interesting today. We've had great weather. You know, it's been partly cloudy and 72 and breezy, so it's pretty easy to go hard. So we pulled back a little bit today just because they went so hard yesterday. We had to be a little smarter, but we were good. Are you still seeing mentally the level of focus that you wanted to avoid the potential trap that we've talked about this week? You know, they do a lot of stuff on defense. Um, so it was a little frustrating today trying to get all those looks lined up on scout team. They do a really good job there. There's, there's a reason they're right number two in the country when it comes to stopping the run uh, defensively. Top 25 defense. And, and offensively, you, you can just tell they're frustrated because they've got players. I mean, they've, and, they, and, they, and they've been good before. They've been really good before. And they've been good at times this year. And uh, I know that Coach Houston's working really hard on that. To, I've been there. I know that feeling of, of being consistent. We were that way the whole month of September. So uh, I know they'll give us a great game. Very proud program that's been good for a long time. I mean, they lead our league in fan attendance. I think they average like 35,000 for home games. That's that's impressive. So it lets you know how much they care about football there. Jeff, the, their defense is the communication with their offensive line key this week even more because you're facing such a good defense? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, just all the different looks they give you. You know, we gotta be able to communicate all that. So they'll get their share of plays. They will. Uh, they're really good on D. You don't. You know, we're, we're seven games in this thing, and they've been that good all year to everybody. You know, they play Michigan tough. That schedule's that, that schedule's tough. I mean, they uh, they have a tough schedule, and it's been frustrating for those guys. I understand, but I've been there. We, our schedule is similar. Uh, so. Jeff, we're talking to Ronald Triplett today. What stands out about him individually, what he brings to your team? His character. I mean, he's an unbelievable human being. You know, I'm sure he's probably too short and too small and too everything, but he just always makes plays. And it's just who Tripp is. He's very well respected by his teammates. Uh, we didn't get him the first time around. He went to K-State. They found out it's a little more cold up there, too far away from home. He's from Houston, so we were really glad to take him the second time around. You have so much talent on that defensive line. We've talked about how everybody kind of has to find a role, and he came through with his first sack against FAU. Is it meaningful when somebody cashes in an opportunity like that? Especially good kids like that that just they never gripe. He never complains. Whatever he's asked to do, he does it. Special teams, it doesn't matter. He gets his 20, 25 snaps again like the rest of them do. But he he is a very, very low maintenance and a high reward. He's a dream to coach. There are rumors circulating that Army is about to join the conference. What are your thoughts on if that happens and having that team as an in the conference? They obviously did not let me vote. I would have voted <laughs> <her> out. <laughs> no, Jeff does a fantastic job. They'd be a great addition. But, yeah, they're, they've been a thorn in my tail since I've been here. Or we've been here together. I, mean, I think we've lost three games in the Alamo Dome, and I think two-thirds of those were them. We've talked a few times this year about Frank Harris trying to get back to 100%, essentially knock off some of the rust after everything he went through in the offseason. Putting a couple full games together, where do you see? Is he all the way back now, or how do you size it up? I, I just think we're trending in the right direction would be the best way to describe that. That's the same thing I tell my coaches and my players uh, when we get on the bus is, you know, zero got through, you know, four more quarters, and he's looking better. And uh, he's not all the way there yet, but uh, we've avoided – you know, we haven't ran him very much, so he's basically been a – we've moved him around some, but not a lot. So we're getting closer. Uh, we're, we're getting better at the right time. We just got to keep trending that way. Unfortunately, there's some really good opponents uh, along the way. Jeff, I wanted to ask you a recruiting question. It seems like it's a little bit slower this 
time of the year than it's been in years past? Is that a function of just kind of the new world of recruiting nowadays? We're just we're just very patient on that. Where we don't chase any of that stuff, and uh, we just believe that it's just not the right thing to do. Just to do it to make everybody happy. And we've lost a couple of really good players here lately, uh, which hurt us. But we're not going to just overreact. So it, it, it's unfortunate in a way, but you know the transfer portal's out there. And you know that if you don't get the high school kid that you wanted, when you really worked hard to get him, we're not just gonna take somebody just to take him. So uh, I would say just to be patient and, uh, and know that we're, we're not gonna take anybody on the roster that cannot help the room, which means they've gotta be as good as the room or better or we're not taking them. And uh, when you're winning and having success, you can be that choosy. We just got to keep winning and having success so we can stay that choosy. The last two weeks, you guys have played teams y'all were familiar with in CUSA and FAU and UAB. But East Carolina, y'all never played each other. So what kind of a challenge is that going up against a team that has no history with UTSA? Yeah, you know, uh, FAU was similar in that aspect because I've never coached against Coach Herman before. Mm -hmm. But to your point, going down there, we've been to the stadium before. Mm -hmm. That helped us just knowing some things. Well, we have nothing to your point. So uh, I do think there is something just to familiarity and learning your opponents and kind of knowing. Mm -hmm. now, we, do, we do have seven games of video, but you never really know till you play someone. And uh, we take great pride in that ourselves. We, we, we want people to, to say when they play us that we really do represent the triangle. And uh, when we don't, we're very disappointed in ourselves. What's your uh, go-to basketball move? What, what are you known for? Euro step, crossover? You, used to, uh, when you're 6'3", you can handle the pill. You know, you could just take them off the dribble. When you get, you know, the age I am now, <laughs> your fade away and your up and under is about all you got left. And. Uh, I, I, the McCallans, we used to play all the time in the, in the 90s when I coached those kids. They loved to hoop like I do. And uh, they used to always call me for traveling. And I've told them I, I invented, it's not the Euro step, it's the Jeff Rowe step. I mean, I, I invented that step. And the McCallans have called me for traveling for, for years.